What's up, everybody? I am doing another great tour with you today. We're in we're in chilly, beautiful Denver. It's usually sunny. I know it is usually sunny. Uh, we're in Denver, Colorado. We're going to show Earth Ship Vans. If you guys are new to the channel, obviously consider subscribing. But I do a lot of different tours here. Today we're doing a van. I also do tiny homes. I do overlanding rigs. I do shop tours. I do a little bit of everything when it comes to touring stuff. I also do vlogs as well. However, it's not about that today. It's about this person and his company. So we're gonna check all that out. Here we go! You can actually introduce these two lovely yeah. gentlemen yeah, over come here. Yeah, on over here. This is part of our team here. We got <laughs> Bobby Boucher, he's our engineer. What up, Bobby? Dustin. Dustin's one of our head They're tracks. not mic'd up. You're not gonna be able to hear them, yeah. but it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm, I am Scott. I'm the owner of Earthship Vans. How long have you been doing this for? Uh, I've been building vans for about six years. This kind of about like four years. So lived in a van, traveled all over, did the whole van life tour and kind of figured out what it is that works and doesn't work in a van. Because these are high end. These are, yes. So how so, long have you been on the high end market? So about three years. Okay. Um, we've kind of focused in, this is our 2024 ESV-1. And um, so our kind of bread and butter is the systems and just making sure everything's super functional. We don't try to overdo it. We just make sure that it's comfortable and that everything is gonna work superb. How many have you done? Do you know offhand? Um, we've built about like 23 vans, I think this is, this okay. is now. Yeah, that's, so. that's great. You don't pump out like 50 vans a year. No, no. You're not trying to. Not trying to. And yeah. why is that? Well, uh, I have a three-year-old daughter. Well, I wasn't even thinking about that, <laughs> but okay. Yeah. I, was... I, I, I definitely would rather be quality over quantity. Building a van, there's a lot. And uh, managing people, there's a lot. And I find that doing about 10 to 15 vans a year is probably the money spot. And we're, we, right now we do about like eight or nine vans a sure. year, but I'd be, I'd be okay with, you know, 12, 13, 14. You know, if you're open to yeah. pricing, we're gonna, we can talk about pricing because there's yeah. a lot of people audience wise that love yeah. to know about pricing. I already called you high end because I know the price point. Justifying your price, because I really feel like it's truly justified because I know what's inside of your vans. Yeah, we definitely focus in on the high end components. Um, all these systems that we use, we've worked with for years. Mm -hmm. So they're trail tested and we know that there's good customer service with all of our products that we use. But yeah, we pretty much focus price wise Anywhere from 250 to 350,000, depending sure. on the build, stereo system, battery system, everything like that. And before we get to the outside, we're going to go inside first, but I mean, just on the outside alone, and you guys can see the outside alone, we're looking at 50 grand. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it is, is what it is, everybody. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you don't have to add all these parts. <laughs> you really don't. <laughs> but it definitely changes the look. Um, and you are located here in Denver, Colorado. Yes. What is the year make and model of the chassis yep. so this is a 2022 um, the client wanted a 4x4 rather than an all-wheel drive and this is our new version for next year the 2024 build out you also own you have your own sprinter I do like, yep I've got a 2022 and nice. um, I also I'm gonna be selling that soon I have a new all-wheel drive that I might do the locker with um, so you're not just yep. a builder you are also a client that's what it started as <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 I got into building vans because I actually like living in a van as we walk in, yep. you, obviously you have this stage. I'm going to call you out because yeah, it's funny. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Whatever, you know, like I, I, if you have a nice house and you're putting it on the market, hey, you probably stage it, Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Guys, we did not go yeah. to a park. We didn't yeah. go to a, no. a, an overlook mountain yeah. view. We yeah, went yeah. to his parking lot, yeah. everybody, because it's, <laughs> this is what matters. Yeah. So you have a drop-down table right here. Yep. Yeah, um, drop down table. Anything special about it? Like No, okay. it's just, you know, an auto retracting table, no extra parts, no extra hinges, anything like that. Just a basic piano hinge. Starting from the outside, this is a PVC table. So if it does get wet, it's not going to delam anything like that. Um, underneath the table, we've got um, exterior speakers that are on a switch. So if you want to turn those on while you're hanging out, that runs off of a separate 12 volt battery system. Oh, how come? Uh, well, if you want to be able to run the speaker system while you're not in the vehicle, you're going to need, you, you guys probably know if you have a uh, Sprinter, it turns off after about five minutes. Okay. So if you want to be able to run the stereo system while outside the vehicle, mm -hmm. you definitely 
I would recommend adding a, a separate battery. We run a 24 volt Victron system for our main battery bank. Okay. And then this is a 12 volt AGM system that has a DC to DC charger wow. that charges while the vehicle's in motion. A lot of our clients are super interesting, artistic people who have big ideas and we try to help make it, make it happen. You gotta have the shoe cubby. Shoe cubby. Shoe cubby's the way to go. Yeah, we've got the Touring uh, bug screens on all the doors, all Touring. Dude, shout out to one yeah. of your competitors. Yeah, Touring. You know, Eric, what's up? You have something that a lot of people don't do, and I'm gonna get a little closer to it right now, which is this right here. Um, I can see what's behind it, but yep. why is there just a metal plate that's an opening right there? Yeah, so we use a Vitrofrigo dual zone fridge. Uh, it's from Italy, it goes fridge, freezer, freezer, freezer. And all of our brackets and all of our vents are all cut uh, by Bob, our engineer. And it just kind of adds a nice touch. We're able to do, we're not a huge branding company. We like to keep the product that speaks for itself but in spaces where we can just add a little something, a little texture, a little design, we're, you know. Yeah, that's your logo, right? Yeah, yeah, there, that's yeah. our logo. All right, let's step on in. <laughs> yeah. Scott, I do like to work kind of from the front, work on my way back, and then we go to the outside. So oh. you obviously, we're in a 170 Sprinter, you already said that. Yep. But you made the very front functional for camp mode. What I found is incorporating the front seats to make kind of the lounge hangout spot rather than doing a dinette in the back or something like that. You know, making your bed every day obviously sucks. Um, plus this is valuable square space in a small vehicle. Essentially starting from the bottom up, we've got the Alpine mechanism, seat swivels, doesn't raise the seats off too, too far. Uh, we do all of the upholstery in-house, the headliner, everything like that. The B pillar is all custom to match. What is the what is the layout called? Uh, this is the ESV one. ESV one. Yeah. Does that have a name? Does that have a reason yeah. for that? Uh, you know, it's just the Urshit Vans one. Oh, Urshit Vans one. Gotcha. Ready. This this is the only floor plan you offer. Or do you offer others or how no? Does that we, work? So the way that we do it, this is the two person layout. You know, his and hers, something like that, or a solo traveler. Right. And then we do a four person layout as well. Oh. Uh, so it just really depends when we're working with our clients. It's kind of like a custom home build. We work with a, a concept that's already kind of prefabbed, a lot of personalization available within the design. And this is a client, man. This is, yep. They picked all the finishes. They picked yep. the countertops. They picked everything. Everything. Okay. Yep. It's kind of like a custom home process, right? right? right. Where you pick fit and finish, and then we work with our cabinet manufacturer and all of the systems that we use throughout all of our builds. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of, you know, design based around those. All right, so you got the two seats here. Yep. Um, obviously beautiful dinner setup. Yep. <laughs> you have a bench. Yep. Is this storage or is that where your electrical is? Yeah, so this is what we call the ESV lounge. In this specific unit, we have a, um, a subwoofer in this front part with amplifiers behind it. And then in this second part, we actually have a large, um, large storage space. This client travels, you know, he goes to Burning Man. He's, uh, uh, okay. he's all over the place. Now it's funny you bring up Burning Man. Cause I, when I step into this rig, I feel very like, it's very rugged. It yeah. looks like it could take a beating. Yeah. You know, you have a different yep. type of floor in here. Yep. We've got the Lone Seal flooring. The Lone Seal flooring with, yep. the, with the L track. Yep. So this, this van has the smart floor. Uh, the concept was that this bench is actually removable okay. and that you could put an additional seat in if that ever needs to be done. Can you maybe do a quick explanation of what the smart floor is for the people that don't know? Yeah, so we use, uh, it's from RRE Global, Andreas, oh. and uh, this is a crash test rated proof flooring that uh, is glued in and then screwed in through bolted. Uh, this specific floor has uh, the Van Life Tech integration from Troy. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it actually is a hydronic system that has PEX going through the floor, so it heats the floor. You know, being in Colorado, a lot of our customers uh, are skiers and they like going in the mountains. So we do a four season van that we use a different style heater pad or different style heating system for our tanks underneath the vehicle. And then if you're running the floor system, all the internal tanks, you know, are good. I think Van Life Tech is not just the best radiant floor heating, but it's the best heater, period. 
in any application I've ever had in my life. A yeah. house, apartment. You have one in your yeah. house, right? I have one in my tiny yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. I'm crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Troy's never done that for anybody, which is great. <laughs> yeah. um, but having it in a van is just next level beautiful. It's a three stage with the yep. floor, yep. the forced air, and the hot water. Exactly. Um, which is nice because of what's going to be in here in a minute. You got the two burner induction. Yep. Um, and you are, I already showed these, but the Vitro Free Grow, I love these, by the way. Can you open them? Yeah, they're, they're super nice. Um, so nice, it, dude. You know, the only downfall of the Vitro Free Grow is that it really kicks the galley out quite a bit. Okay. So it does narrow the walkway um, a little bit more than I'd like. But if you're looking to have, you know, a really high-end fridge as well as a bathroom shower, that kind of stuff, there's decisions that are made within the van. I was gonna say now, if the yeah. client wants a door style, not a draw style, yeah. could you you could do that? Yeah, absolutely. You Saves could, you a couple of inches, all that kind of stuff. You so could even that's get that's part of the whole design process yeah. is like picking the appliances and you know the basically how it's gonna flow for you, right. and then we kind of des design it based. Well, you have that. to design around the appliances. I keep telling people this. Yes. Like yep. it's. I mean, yeah. not everybody wants a microwave. Yeah. You got to put one not. in. No, it's not. No. Right. So. I I personally don't like a microwave. Neither do I. But there's a but lot of people that do. All right, I'm gonna switch sides with you. I want to know what's in here. Yeah, let's take a look. Open you know. that door up, buddy, and talk to me about it. Look at. Oh, I haven't seen this one yet. Yep. So. So that's. I'm guessing that's not marble. It's not. It's marble light. <laughs> okay. But man, does that look like marble? It does. It right? looks really the, nice. The teak flooring in there. Oh man. Yep. That looks beautiful. Thetford toilet with the cassette on the outside. You guys went with a Thetford. I saw a Thetford in the, another van as well. Yes. Um. Do you do you only use Thetford? Do you use other ones or? No. Well, you know that's part of the whole design process. Sure. Um. If you want composting or cassette style, something like that. It gives you the option. Uh, Thetford is nice because it allows for you to travel and not have to, you know, deal with sewage. Like you open it up and it just goes on the other side. Yeah, what I actually really like about this toilet is the toilet head swivels. Yeah. So that's right the there. only way that this is gonna work in this design. If you have to sit forward, it would never work. And this gives you the largest floor space for actually standing and showering. A lot of showers and vans get very compact. As far as like storing stuff and, and getting the most out of the floor plan, this is kind of how we've solved that issue. That's awesome. Like I was saying, this big, beautiful counter. Yep. That's not a flare though. You this just... is. So this van, uh, we have the Mega Flare from Flare Space. Oh. And we'll take a look at it further when we go around yeah. the vehicle. Kind of open it up a little bit. Having six feet from side to side kind of, you know, that's probably the biggest downfall with sprinters is that they're just a little too narrow. There's another shelf that's actually going to go here for a little spice rack. Oh, cool. Um, just to take advantage of that space. And then it carries into the back just like your regular flare would. Uh, what is this, Corian? Yeah, Corian. You know, it's easy to clean. Uh, we also do a lot of butcher block as well. But this client really, he's a New York loft guy and he really wanted to keep that clean. Oh yeah. Yep, open speaks, book. Speaks my language. Yep, yeah, exactly. The beautiful, yeah. <laughs> the beautiful thing about the 170s is you can have this layout with still a plenty of bed space. Yep. That is a big bed. I want to say it's at least a queen. It's almost a queen. Okay. It's, it's like 78 by 60. So 80 so, by 60 is a queen. You got it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of windows are these? Uh, I've got the turn overland. Is it uh, turn overland? Yep, yeah, for both the flares. And then we use AMA slider windows throughout the sliding door um, as well as the back doors. Also, I, I just realized this. I fit in every van, but you're tall. I am. Yep. So how tall yep. are you? I'm 6'3". The reason why we went with the smart floor versus the re the regular van life tech floor is because it saves you about an inch, and he is also a tall client. Ah, and you even have a safety mechanism right above your head. Yeah, so this is a 360 camera. Uh, it's hooked up to the DC system, so, you know, it's just when you have nice stuff and an expensive van, it's just, you know, peace of mind. Sure. Yeah. What? Wait, that's a camera? I actually thought it was a smoke detector. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that's a camera? Yep. So it hooks up to an app. You can view it any place remotely throughout, you know, any place in the country. Does your client have like animals too to like watch after them? No, nope, not him. Just watch yep. any intruders? Yep, intruders. Wow, yep. that's genius. Yep. Can you give me the name of that camera? Yeah, think... Amcrest. Amcrest. Yep. All right, cool. so one of the things that makes us a four season, and we can't see it out of sight, out of mind, what is the thing that we need in the summertime to make sure we sleep well at night? 
In all of our builds, we use cruising comfort air conditioners. You know, it's a split unit system. The condenser is mounted underneath the vehicle and then the compressor is inside the vehicle. We use the cruising comfort for a couple of reasons. One, it's probably the highest BT you yeah on the market too, yeah. yep and uh it also keeps the noise kind of regulated as well as clearing up space on top of the roof this one's got two adventure boxes 98 liters on the top as well as about 360 watts of solar and then there's still room to hang out on top of the vehicle and so it, that rack is yeah, yeah we'll, we'll get into that <laughs> yeah. too a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Backwoods Ty. You have so much going on in here, which is funny because it looks just plain Jane. Yeah, for sure. That's part of like the, the clean overall effect, mm -hmm. right? There's a lot going on. Our systems are complex, but being able to just make it look open and clean, it's, you know, I think there's a little bit of art behind that. There you go. You yeah. said it eloquently. Is there anything you want to share with me that I'm missing on? Maybe you want to open up some Yeah, stuff? so this is kind of our main oh, little... <laughs> so you have heat and air conditioning, and yep. this is the full power system. Yes, that's wow. correct. Crazy. So something that we'll talk about a little bit more is we do run a second alternator, Nation's alternator, which charges about 130 amps. Uh, we also have a high rev kit and an auto start kit. So once the battery system hits about 80%, the alternator starts the vehicle and then charges. So in the instance where you do have pets, you're at national parks, stuff like that, you don't have to worry, you know, you've got the camera as well as the auto start. So if your battery system's running, you've got the AC going, it gets to a certain voltage. Instead of shutting off, it just starts the vehicle and then allows you to continue to use it as regular. So we do a 24 volt system, uh, all Victron components for two reasons. Um, one, you can manage them all via Bluetooth. We can also log into the system when the client's out on the road. A lot of our clients are from all over the country. So you use a Serbo GX there? Yeah, we use the Serbo GX. Yeah. And, uh, so we can monitor it, see if alarms go off, everything like that. So is your cruise and comfort at 24 volt? It's at 24 volt. Okay. Yep. Yeah, the floor system's 24 volt, the uh, cruise and comfort's 24 volt, the lights are 24 volt, the fridge is 24 volt. As many appliances that we can do 24 volt, we do it. I was going to say, and for then, the vans, it makes sense. To, yeah, oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. I yeah. like jumping up to 48, but for a van, I mean, you're going to get almost everything out of 24 volt. Yeah, yeah, there's some things, vent fans, you can't get at 24 volt. Okay. So, we so you still have a step down? down? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Which, by the way, Victron does yeah. make. Yeah, we use it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. One of the biggest things that I talk about is uh, keep that open because I was going <laughs> to mention just one thing because yes. you get a high end van, you want high end every little detail, yeah. and the hardware is yep. Bloom hardware. Yep. Really yes. nice stuff. Expensive. Yeah. You know, hinge and gas strut all together. Okay. Uh, you know, we're talking small space here, so having something that does two things at once is great. And do you have a drawer that? would open that actually I believe you use really good hardware for that. Yeah, so we use um, a drawer that has its own locking mechanism in it as well. Uh, Accuride slides. This is so nice. Yep, so a lot of, you know, I think there's a lot of thought process into our vans. I kind of think of them as like a race car rather than just a street legal car. You know, every single nut and bolt that goes into it, stainless or aluminum, you know, we use a proprietary bracket system. So everything's held up through L-Track, also into the L-Track of the floor. So a lot of things is when you start packing stuff into vans, they can rattle and be noisy. Our vans are super silent, which yeah, is like, quiet. yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice thing to have. We're going to move the outside and this is pretty much the adventure of it all. Yeah, absolutely. Comfort inside, adventure outside. I mean, you did it all. You got the running boards. Um, it yep. looks like Owl. Yep, Owl. So you have obviously a good relationship with them. Yep. Wait, Owl makes rims? Owl does. I didn't know that. It's, it's the Talon. They oh. just released a new one as well. Okay. So they've got two different designs, I think three different colorways. You did something with the plastics and the, and the uh, hood. Yeah, so, you know, part of the adventure side of our business, we want to make sure that it's durable for years to last. So all the widest, lowest points, we do proprietary spray, um, kind of like a rhino liner, yeah. but it's our own thing. We do a film over the top of the window as well, so okay. that, you know, that's a number one spot that gets rusted as well. You also have moose and elk out here. 
Yep, yep. And this will obviously help with that. It will. Just yep. in case. Yep. We don't, we're not trying to go out and hit them. No, no, no. But if they run out in front of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. protects. Intercooler, everything like that. Um, so we we work with backwoods primarily. Um, this this is pretty much wrapped with backwoods and owls. So we've got the XL bumper with the fog lights, the Xeon 12, 1,000 pound winch. Jeez. Uh, so it's a remote you know wireless yep. i think you can uh have enough lights here to light up a football field yeah you've got the double 52 inch light bars on the roof 52 uh, inch the light bars. xl rack which is nice um you know it gives it that bulky beefy exterior look that we like to go with yeah um and they actually no longer make that roof rack what? We're gonna have to go on tie about this one. Yeah, so. Damn you, tie. Yep. Yeah, the quick deflating valves. Uh, this does have a ARB twin compressor on it as well. So, so you can, so after you deflate, like, yes. and why do we deflate? Yeah. For the people that don't understand why you deflate tires. Yeah, it's just, you know, if you're off road, going over rocks, rattles, stuff like that, it just makes it a lot more comfortable. Sand. So, yeah, sand, exactly, snow. So you can pretty much go from full pressure to where you want to be in seconds it's really and nice. then with the arb that's built in you can just pump right back up yeah yeah and we do a drop in the front as well as the rear like you know mountain biking stuff like that it's nice to be able to have two drops yeah for yeah. sure again out of sight out of mind you have a bunch of uh suspension in there yeah so we do the van compass the 4.3 uh yep. we do agile as well it's just really that's one of the things that we allow our client to pick moving to the back here yep you can't have an adventure rig without having these back modifications. Yep, so this guy's a big biker, uh, mountain biker, road biker. Okay. Uh, so we've got the one-ups on top, we've got the Owl B2, uh, the Owl Adventure Box, as well as the Owl rear tire carrier and ladder. Uh, you know, also the rear bumper from Backwoods. Check right there, we've got our custom, custom logo. So we do a bad switch on all that stuff. Nice. And then you got to. if we take a look, you know, it just really depends. We'll oftentimes do a gear tray for storage. Yep. It just, you know, everyone uses their vans differently. So we kind of, this guy's a really big biker. So we made rooms for, for bikes inside the vehicle. Uh, is that an Aquar water? Yep, so we've got the rear shower hookup. So this is nice. Uh, we've got the fill and then the wash down. So it just has a little hose right here that you can tie into for the shower. Dude, I was not sold on that that like, that like system until yeah. I put it in my tiny. Oh, you have it in your tiny. I actually, nice. that's how I fill water in my yeah. tiny. Well, it's uh, a residential system. It, it's it's that's phenomenal. That's where it kind of came from. It is. I believe it's 19 gallon freshwater tank inside the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the spare tire carrier water tank as well. So basically you fill it up, same spot right here, mm -hmm. and then you turn a valve and then that just flows down into the bottom. And oh. then you choose which tank you want to use. Water is probably one of the biggest limitations. You're absolutely. Yep. And then obviously your power is all on this side. Yep. All the power stuff. Every single thing that we put into this vehicle, uh, we hand select. It's not just cheap Amazon orders, stuff like that. <laughs> Not hey to hate hey on man, Amazon. I was going to say, what if I, I order off Amazon? I Amazoned my Halloween costume. Okay. But we don't Amazon our vans. All right, fair enough. So, fair enough. Yep. And then the back boxes are actually my buddy from Rigwell, Corey. Uh, he makes super high quality made in America components. Um, and then it's a bed system that goes from, you know, full, full bed to either standing desk or you can stow it completely so oh, nice. you can walk through the vehicle for people that don't know and haven't built a van they don't understand this and i try <coughs> to make these videos for people to understand but there's yeah a lot there's a there's lot that goes into there's this. there's a range of uh understanding yeah. with vans yeah. right like anything and uh it is important um you know another thing is is oftentimes you don't live in the van, you live outside of the van. So just like small features, like having oh, wow. full 360 lighting around the vehicle yeah. that runs on the DC system. So if you're hanging out, you don't need the vehicle on, anything like that. Yes. I want to show the mega flare. Yeah, let's do it. Um, not then, many out and there. Then you can pit, and then you can pitch yourself. Yep, not many out there. Literally the entire side is a bump out. Yep, so that allows the niche into the shower. Okay. 
Uh, it allows just, there's another little shelf up there for coffee, that kind of stuff. Your standard flair in the back for sleeping. Is this made is. by Flare Space? It is. Made by the yep. same people? Yeah. yeah, so we helped them kind of develop it. There's cool. a couple of companies that have used them. Rogue Vans in California, they got one. Oh, cool. Did some cool stuff with it. And that, that little door right there, everybody, is the Thetford. Yep. So nice. just a little... Cassette. little cartridge that comes out. Again, where can we find you, Scott? How do we get a hold of you? All that good stuff. Yeah, so um, Instagram, at Earthship Vans, www.earthshipvans.com. Uh, reach out via our, our contact form if you're interested in the ESV1 or any of our other van builds. Give us a shot. We'd love to partner with you and build you an awesome van. Awesome, dude. So, well, I appreciate you. Hey, likewise. Thanks, man. Hey, thanks, dude.